higher in London with Andre Kay from Voyager Blue. Andre, there have been reports in the press this week about problems with contactless payments in Pret and Marks and Spencers. Can you please tell me more? Yeah, basically, contactless technologies has now been around for a long, long time and has begun to be issued by banks all around the world to uh, make processing of points of sale faster. When we buy products for under £20, you can literally just tap and go. Okay, so the, the, the problem we believe is not with the shops, it's not with Marks and Spencer and with Pret, but it's, it's with the technology. Yeah, we absolutely do not believe it is the shop, it isn't Marks and Spencer, and it isn't Pret or any other retailer that's at fault. We have technical proof that contactless technologies in the right conditions can be read at significantly in excess of four centimetres as is stipulated in the ISO standards. Okay, very interesting. Now we know there are around 35 million contactless cards in circulation at the moment and an increasing number of shops taking on this technology. The reports, with regret to Pret and Marks and Spencers, are they the tip of the iceberg? Yeah, they are the tip of the iceberg. Basically, as you get busier stores with multiple point of sale terminals next to each other, you not only have the possibility of, for instance, wanting to pay for a sandwich with your debit card, but actually inadvertently paying for it via your credit card that's stored inside your purse or your wallet. And you... We have one more example, if I may, where um, a colleague of mine actually paid for the person next to, next to them sandwich uh, when trying to buy their own copy of sandwich in a sandwich shop such as the one behind us. Okay, thank you very much. And we know you have a solution. We'll encourage viewers of this, visit, uh, of this video to visit www.voyagerblue.co.uk to see those solutions. Andre, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.